How you doing, everybody? Randy Richards in the shop. Today, I'm working on a auger, a uh, dirt auger for drilling post holes, things like that. This is a nine inch auger. And today, we're going to try to fix up uh, some teeth on it. This is in really bad shape. It's, very, it's old, uh, it's been highly modified, and we're going to highly modify it some more. <laughs> well, maybe not highly, but we've already fixed up the drive line and checked out the gearbox. We've got some new teeth. We're going to try to fit for this. We're going to try to do a little grinding on the tip that goes on here and fix this up a little bit. These two parts here we've already worked on. This is the drive line for the auger. Uh, this end is the end that goes, attaches, slips onto the spline of the tractor, PTO output. Now this is a, a class one uh, three-point hitch uh, type of setup. Anyway, this, this pin was all frozen and the U-joint was fairly stiff, but we greased it and it feels really good. It's, there's no play in it. But this was all frozen. We were able to just free, get this freed up and lubricated well. This is your latching pin. Uh, it slips into a groove on the PTO shaft to keep it in place uh, when you're using this. Now this is all frozen inside here. This will slide and extend. And we were able to knock this end apart, this U-joint apart, remove it to get this apart. We got it all cleaned, lubricated, so this now will extend. So we, on this end, we destroyed the U-joint even getting it out. And so we put a new U-joint in here, cleaned up this spline. This is the output spline end, which attaches to the uh, gearbox here, and the spline end here on the gearbox. And this, uh, this is the, your input, of course, to the gearbox. This is where the auger goes. Now this is full of grease and seems to be operating uh, or will operate just fine. Uh, it used to operate, so there's no water in it and it seems to be in good shape, full of grease. Uh, so we checked it all out and we're gonna just put that back on now. And this is ready to go. And we just need to fix the auger. See what we can do about that. And maybe we'll be able to actually drill a few holes. I have some posts to put in, my neighbor has some posts to put in. This is actually my neighbor's. Since we're both gonna use it, we're both kind of working on it. This has been modified. This tip obviously had probably four teeth on it at one time. This now only has two teeth on it. Really bad shape, really. Somebody's tried to hard face all the uh, flute uh, of the auger and on the here. It's very, really poor. Uh, this is one of the tooths that was in here and you can see how this is shaped and and pretty short this is really very short this is kind of what it should have looked like or this is what it did look like probably when it was brand new uh, you can see quite the difference there and this is uh, oh, about three and a half inches long and this will fit in here just like so. We just need to make it stay in there. Now here we have about a quarter inch gap between this and that, which is not gonna really hold us real well. I'm gonna cut on this side here, I'm gonna cut a lot of this away and probably clean this up to try to put in some more steel or a piece of steel and weld it in to give it some backing. The other side is, is in a little better shape. Uh, but still needs a lot of work. Now the tip is off. This tip is, we didn't try to find a new one yet, but uh, we'll probably, if this all works, we're probably gonna find a new tip for it. Uh, this tip is not much left. So we tried to hard face a little bit on it here. I'm gonna grind in here to give this a little bit of grabbing, cutting action, kind of like a drill bit uh, to at least get the auger started. Uh, the new teeth up here will, will be a huge improvement, and, but th this might help us a little bit. It, this is pretty bad. Uh, most of them are a lot longer and highly fluted to help grab into the ground a little bit. But it helps keep you centered and things like that uh, when you're drilling the hole. 
uh, we're just gonna, we're, like I said, we're just grinding this a little bit. Well, if this all works out, then we'll probably look for a tip that fits this uh, configuration on here. You can see how it has a like a bar and then two dogs and a bolt hole that locks it on. So we're gonna get to get going here, and we're gonna cut all this, cut this away. <laughs> All right, I cut away. Here's a big chunk that I cut away uh, and a couple little pieces. I got a piece of uh, 3 8 by inch and a half flat bar. Kind of fit it on there. I want to leave some material underneath here, uh, at least something to weld to. So that's why this is at an angle. And we'll weld this in here along the bottom then I'm going to take a torch and I'm going to heat all this end here and manipulate that and forge that over to back up the tooth now when you put the tooth in usually you take a piece of rubber uh, that's on a piece of you know put a piece of rubber on there and then you jam it in there and friction holds it in so this should be fairly tight once I get this turned around and and manipulated in here uh, if I grind too much of this way I won't have any support so we need to forge that around and, and get that to fit I think with the rubber in there uh, that will wedge in just fine I think that's good. Uh, that will help back that up a little bit. All right, I've got this all uh, ground up, dirt knocked out, all that stuff. So this is uh, pretty bad in here. Tooth is gonna go in there. And this part is all missing. It was just nothing. I'm gonna take a piece of quarter inch key stock and lay it in here and I'll, I'll weld it in place. It's 
more of a more of a filler kind of thing. So this will lay on top, just like on the other side, and uh, we'll just kind of angle it in there like that. And then we'll heat this and bend it down uh, to make contact with the bar. I think uh, that should be uh, pretty good. It will give us a lot of meat in the pocket here. All right, I went with a little little thicker and a little wider uh, piece of key stock in here and to fill this a little bit better to bring this edge out even with the tooth and then this will go on top of that. We'll tack this in, weld this in first and then we'll put this other piece on. Okay, that looks uh, really good. I like that. Yep, I think we're just going to leave it the way it is. I think it's going to be fine. So uh, we'll let that cool down before we uh, do a little cleanup. And then uh, we'll uh, address the tip. All right, I cleaned this all up and uh, ground this to be more of a little bit of a fishtail type of point. Something that will hopefully grab a little bit. We're just gonna we're gonna knock that on there and put a bolt in it. We'll make it fit. Looks good. Okay, we're gonna put the teeth in. Now, put them this way. This is the kind of the cutting edge. Uh, yeah, these are uh, heat treated forged teeth. So they should be pretty tough and pretty strong. And uh, yeah, they go in there. And I'm gonna cut this. This is a, uh, oh, it's not an eighth. It's not a sixteenth. It's somewhere in between. I don't know. A little piece of rubber. And we're, we're going to cut a piece of that. These are actually fitting fairly tight, so I don't, I don't know if this is going to be uh, even fit, really. It's, I mean, if, I, if I just pounded that in there, boy, it'd be snug. But we'll see if I can get some rubber in there. Still a little bit warm from all that heating, even on this side. This is the first one we did. Yeah, I don't know if 
that rubber is going to work. But I was hoping it would fit from there, but there's just not enough room actually to get it in there, it seems like. Well, we'll put it in and give it a try. Well, it jammed in there. Oh. There we go, the auger's uh, ready to go, and we'll get it all to put together here, uh, not today, but maybe tomorrow. And uh, this is what I use. I use my welding table and uh, a chunk of the rubber matting I have here in the shop underneath, and then clamped it down with these, clamp, with these uh, welding clamps into my table. Uh, to hold that in place if you were wondering how I was holding it. It was rock, it's rock solid to pound on it and everything. And it protected the table. Uh, hopefully it's gonna dig for us and we'll, we'll get it on the tractor here real quick and uh, show you that, hopefully digging. I'll get out there and hopefully we'll be able to test that. So right down here, this is the end, the top pivot. And this end I just cut off and welded a new one on for a three quarter inch pin here. Uh, you can just buy this end piece. As they're solid forged and you can just weld them in. Now, this piece here is actually a squished down, forged down tube. Uh, so I was able to cut it back enough and open it up a little bit in there with a little grinding. So I could kind of slip that in there a tiny bit. Uh, you know, half an inch, and then weld it, weld it all in. So this came out real well. So this is the whole setup here. Uh, drive lines all fixed up, heads all good, and we even went and uh, dug a few holes with it. Uh, the teeth are worked out just perfect. Uh, it digs about a nine-inch hole, and uh, a little wallering, of course. But works out worked out perfect for us, and uh, we got we'll have a good, lot of good life. Now this on top here is an old hydraulic motor as a weight. Uh, this is how uh, my neighbor received uh, the whole unit. Uh, somebody put that on there. Uh, it, it weighs several hundred pounds. It's very heavy. It's probably like off a small dozer or something maybe. It's a drive motor, double splines. But anyway, that was enough weight. Actually, enough plenty of weight. Uh, we we didn't need ground pressure or anything. The ground right now is pretty soft around here. It's usually pretty easy to dig. So pretty happy. It all really worked well, and we're going to dig a hole now. Okay, my wife's gonna drill a hole. She's ready. All the way up. There we go, it's engaged. There you go. Working great. She's now a post hole digger. awesome. We got a good, really good repair out of it. We thought about adding down pressure to it, but I don't know, it's looking pretty darn good. She's a pro at this now. She wants to plant some trees over here. So that's what she's doing this for. That's the whole Look at 
That's good. Take it out. You can take it out. Throttle it. Yeah. Kill the throttle. Disengage. Work perfect. Love it. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching.